Hey guys, what's up? Forrest here. Um, today I want to take a look at a little uh, astrophotography gadget that I think a lot of people overlook. And when I discovered it, it was just so helpful. It's one of those things that's like, uh, you don't think about how much it can help you until you buy it. And that's a dew heater, a way to remove dew when you're doing long exposure astrophotography or even time lapses. A lot of time lapse folks could really benefit from one of these. So I want to take a look at what a dew heater is, how it works, and how you can use one to really help out. So one of the biggest problems that I run into shooting in Montana is that toward the later evening, the later that you shoot, the more chance there is for dew and ice to start forming on your lens. And it's especially a problem in the winter because you actually get ice. And the solid layer of ice on front of your lens, it obviously isn't probably good for the coatings that are there, but also it really cuts down on sharpness and to an extreme event, it actually just uh, blocks all light from coming through your lens and you're not able to take any sort of picture at all. So what they make are these dew heaters and this one is made by a company called Protégé or Protage, I don't know how you actually say that um, or how they want it to be pronounced. But the cool thing about this dew heater is that it's actually USB powered. Um, a lot of dew heaters require dew heater controllers and kind of more expensive uh, ways to control the heat output. But this one, you just plug in via USB. So what you're able to do is take this little dew heater and wrap it around the front of your lens and it's nicely Velcro. You just kind of wrap it around the front like that. And then you take the USB plug and you have a USB power bank like this. This is just an anchor power bank and I'll link both of these in the description. And you can just plug in this USB cord just like that and it's now running heat through this dew heater strap. So the idea is that this heat is transferred into the lens and that little bit of heat coming onto the outside of the lens prevents there from being any ice buildup or dew buildup throughout the night. Now, a couple disadvantages for one, this only comes in one size, so it's not gonna work with like a bigger telescope. Um, and number two, there's no heat control. It's always either all on or all off. So it, as soon as you plug it in, it's all on. And as soon as you unplug it, it's all off. Um, whereas a lot of other dew heaters, they have like variable, um, temperature settings and things like that. But hey, for like 20 bucks, this has been really awesome. And this is part of my, my grab and go Astro setup. I just pop it on the front of my lens. I plug it in. I have a USB bank with a couple ports. So I'm actually able to run my camera or my mount off of another one of those USB ports. And overall, it does a really fantastic job. So if you guys shoot time lapses or Astro or you're into this type of thing and you've had issues with dew in the past, pick one of these up. Even if you haven't had issues with dew in the past, if you do this for any length of time, I think most people will say that you definitely will have those problems. So it's definitely worth grabbing one of these, especially if you already have a USB power bank, 20 bucks or so for the dew heater, and you can just add it to your astro kit or your time-lapse kit or your night photography kit, and you won't have to worry about dew anymore. So I hope you liked that. I got a lot of more of these tips coming your way. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are interested. Hit that like button, I really appreciate it. And leave me down in the comments if you have any questions, comments, concerns, video ideas, whatever it happens to be. You guys are awesome. Keep shooting, keep taking astro photography seriously. Get into it, love it. Just mm, soak it up. You guys are sweet. We'll catch you in the next one.